We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down And we're building back up again now Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my What I'm Liking and Not So Much. I also have a special guest, so if you guys would like to hear my likes and maybe not so much likes and hear who my special guest is, keep on watching. Okay guys, so today my guest I'm having is Marlene, fab and glam over 50, and you guys probably know her pretty well for me already if you've been watching my videos. I've done several different collabs with her and also uh, Amy Miranda, so I've done quite a few collabs with them. Um, I don't even know, I have tried to think of how I actually met Marlene. And I'm not quite 100% sure because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's a shout out that somebody did, but I'm not sure who that was. I wish I did because I would give them credit for that too. But I really enjoyed Marlene. Um, we have become pretty good friends. We do keep in contact through the emails and stuff. She actually lives in around Florida and I was keeping track of because with the whole Hurricane Matthew and everything, I wanted to make sure her and her uh, family because her uh, daughter-in-law and her son live in Florida. So I just want to make sure like everybody was just, you know, doing fine and okay. As I mentioned before, she is a school teacher and I think hats off to the school teachers. Because they are the hugest part in a lot of our lives as in educating us maybe even making us who we become they do help guide us along the way so yeah so please go check out marlene she'll have her i will have a link to her video down below and you can go ahead and see and check out her video all right let's get started on my likes and not likes um hair care i do have this time around Oh my goodness, I have to find out if I can get these in my Walmart. I'm really going to have to look when I get there. Um, I had done a video on this company called Brew. That is, it's a shampoo and conditioner, and I did buy these with my own money. I actually purchased them in Walmart. And there were several different kinds of shampoo and conditioners from this company. It was like on an end display. You know how sometimes you'll go in Walmart and there's like that end display? And I seen these and what caught my attention with these two was the fact that it says a daily detox for hair and scalp. I, I love to find those products to help get rid of the debris, you know, like everything that builds up after a while when you use your um, different hairstyling products and even shampoos and certain conditioners, you know, like all that product build up. So that caught my attention. Uh, this has peppermint it, peppermint to refresh and caffeine to wake up the follicles. But the in interesting thing is it has beer in it, actually. Uh, beer hair, crazy, question mark, you know. For ages, beer has been a home-brewed remedy for strong, shiny hair. Just ask your mom, your mom's beer hair inspired brew. I thought that was pretty interesting when I first heard about it and then later I heard a couple of my other um, uh, beauties that are subscribed to me and join me all the time um, and I did a review on this. They're like, hey, I use beer in my hair and I was like, really? I never knew people did that but I come to find out, yeah, it was pretty and maybe it still is a common thing. Uh, it does have the minty smell and you do feel the tingly. Oh, I love that because to me, that's when I know it's really doing its job. So if you don't like those things, like the tingle feeling, or you don't like any kind of mint scent, some people just don't like the mint scent or whatever, then of course you're not going to like these. Okay, for skin, I did get this from the company uh, Valentia. I'm not going to go in full detail on this product because I, I do have a review coming up. But it's the Valentia Pure Glow Brightening Moisturizer. And I've been using this, I mostly use it during the daytime. I don't use it at night. I mostly do it during the daytime. And I have been really liking this moisturizer right here. They do have their site and also their 
products are on Amazon. And this is a four ounce bottle. Okay, and then the uh, Ulta Premium Round Cotton Pads. I love these round cotton pads. These ones aren't bad. They're nice. They're, I'm not gonna like say they're not good. They are good. They're quilted on one side. And I can't remember the other brand that I got in Walmart. I liked them a little bit better because they were a little bit more bigger. They were oval shaped. And I just felt like I could do more with that one than these. Sometimes I have to go through two of these where that one I only needed one. And they're a nice size. Um, they're in Walmart. I forget how much I paid for these, like two something, almost three bucks for 80. And, you know, I still have them and everything. So, I mean, they're, they're good, like I said. But um, I do like the oval shaped ones better. But I like them. So that's why they're in here. The price that I'm, um, eh, it's okay. And that is the Rimmel London Just Let It Go. It's a makeup remover. It removes waterproof mascara, it does say here. Um, and it's from Rimmel, but I just thought it was okay. I mean, it wasn't like something that I, re I would repurchase. I was sent this. This was sent in one of them box boxes. I've gone through it. You know, it's not that I haven't, but it's just all right. The one I really like is, and this is the Quate brand, but it's compared to the Neutrogena one. It's the oil-free eye makeup remover. You can kind of see the separation there of the product you know you have to shake it up and everything I like this one I like this one better yeah not really not really digging the Rimmel one too much okay, let's get into makeup so for makeup um I don't know whose dog that is but some of the dogs having a good old time so sorry about that but I have one of Sephora's eyeliners this is the it's a waterproof and it's in the shade Coca in number 14. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that. Um, but I really like this eyeliner and I wouldn't mind trying some of their other eyeliners because it does stay in my waterline. It doesn't seem to, it does, it does seem to stay for the whole day. I haven't had any problems with it. My goodness, my hands need washed off. I was doing swatches earlier on another video, so that all there is from swatches so it's smeared, so don't mind that, but there's the shade there, Coca. It's a really pretty, like, brown shade, which I think is very flattering. Um, if you're somebody that doesn't like black liners, I think a brown eyeliner or something like that is a great way to go. Um, I like to use a brown eyeliner a lot more. I don't use black that often on my waterline anymore. Once in a while, but not as often. If I'm gonna go for a dark shade, I will do this or some purple or something. I don't do black as much anymore. I tie line with blacks a lot of times or put it on the top lid, but other than that, yeah. So concealer, I love this concealer. I know I've seen it on her site. I don't know if I've actually seen her, her um, conceal. It's the Dream Creams Concealer highlighter palette it's in porcelain and fair this one's in porcelain and fair and um i do know on her site she has um i don't know if i've seen porcelain and fair on there i know i've seen like uh medium to dark or something like that so i'm not really sure if this is a product that you still can get you can go on her site and look or search for it it's the dream cream concealer i do know she did come out with a new um, kind of concealer highlighter palette and what it really is is it's a cream based product and you can't see too well because I just mixed them all together but it had strips of different shades there uh, mine I just mix all together and I do use that a lot under the eyes and it's a really really good really good concealer I really like it another Laura Geller product. This one is from her uh, Baked Gelato. Gelato. It's the Vivid Swirl Blush in Rose Water. I do have the highlight that everybody seems to really like. Um, the Honey one or something like that. I'd like to get more of these blushes. I did see a couple other ones that are really pretty shades. But there it is right there. Oh my goodness. But that's it right there. It's a really, really pretty color. Um, 
it gives a nice glow to the cheeks. So if you don't want to put no highlighter on, but you still you'll still get the glow with it. So I I really like that blush. I love this highlighter and I know they have other shades now and I'm thinking about getting some other shades. Well, one other shade, actually. I forget what it is. Is it Devotion? I think it's Devotion. And what it is, is it's from Laura Mercier. Uh, this is her face eliminator. It's in Indiscretion. This one's in Indiscretion. Now, it was a limited edition, it seemed like, for a while there, and now all of a sudden, it seems like it's permanent. I know she does seem to do that a lot, which, thank goodness, because, oh my goodness, I, this is probably one of my favorite highlighters of all. Seriously, it really is. Now, this has more of a golden sheen, right there it is. But it looks so natural. That's what I like about it. Like there's some highlighters and I, I don't mind them. I'll wear them, but there's some that don't look natural and you can kind of tell. So I try to be careful as best as I can, but there's some, and this is one of them. Totally. It looks natural. It, it just goes with everything so well, blends so well. And I think the one I want is devotion. I'm pretty sure I'm definitely going to have to get that one for lips um first of all what i'm wearing today is one of the um bourgeois yeah bourgeois rouge edition of velvet um the liquid i don't know if i want like a liquid lip stain uh color this one is in i believe it says velvet but i don't know if that's actually the shade I think these went, I think these went more by numbers, but this is a number 05. So just look for the number 05. It could be velvet, but I'm not sure because these are supposed to be velvet edition. So I'm not really sure, but it is what I'm wearing today and they stain on the lips. I have this one and a peach one. I love the doe foot applicator. It has that little tip on there and Oh, they're just so, so velvety smooth. They are wonderful. I would probably get more. I got these actually from my in-laws. They sent them over. But I think some of these products from Bourgeois, you can order online. I'm trying to think of the brand and company that this remind this reminds me exactly like dead on I would say dupe and I'm trying to think of the lip product and it's from a big big name Giorgio Armani has some kind of um lip stains they have like a red lid and I've because I've often thought about there was a certain shade I wanted to get and they're pretty pricey they're like around almost thirty dollars close to and this is that's what this reminds me of the the formula and everything because I had a little small mini Giorgio Armani sample and that's what this reminds me of. And it's his liquid velvet kind of lipsticks too or something that stain. And yeah, if you want to save some money, I'd get the bourgeois ones. Okay, and then lastly, but not long ago, I did a video. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was the fall collab video that I did with a bunch of other beauties on here with Rose of Beauty. She kind of Put it together and everything and i had a lip product on and i did have a lot of people asking me and um i i love this this one here i might get another color but the other colors didn't really grab my attention i'm not huge on too many brown rusty shades for my lips some people love the brown rusty kind of color i don't like that for on me or it just doesn't appeal to me maybe it would look good on me but it just doesn't appeal to me but this is from the Hard Candy Metallic Mousse. This is the mousse ones. They have regular, uh, regular mousse ones. And I have Sweet Pea and I love that one. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the packaging. Here's the packaging. It's similar to the regular ones. This packaging reminds me of Urban Decay's lip glosses that you see. It reminds me exactly of it because it's like a little slender and it's very sleek and it, yeah, it's pretty cool. This shade is in Truffle. 
Okay, see right there, it's in the shade Truffle. And it is so pretty. I fell in love. As soon as I seen the coloring, like, I just, I told my husband, I'm like, yeah, I'm liking the looks of that one. And the doe foot applicator is a nice flat one, actually. And it's, it works perfect for me, for my lips. I didn't notice anything major um, with it, you know, like, of it being too drying or anything. Um, it lasted a good bit throughout the day for me. I do tend to, with products like this, sometimes put either a lip balm on and then put this on top, or I had like a neutral lipstick, like, or lip balm lipstick kind of thing, and then put this on top, and it seemed to stay pretty good. I haven't worn it by itself, um, because I have heard some people say it dries up and gives some cracky. I, I didn't have that problem and I really liked it. Please remember to go check out Marlene's video. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. Please go check her out. Give her some thumbs up and subscribe if you like, and you know, tell her ascension, tell her hi. And, um, yeah, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. And, um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, subscribe button down below if I can talk and you can join me each week I do at least try to have videos up every week <clears throat> what the heck's happening in my voice hello and as always ladies, please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care bye we'll see you then bye love you